2022 was an awful year for Disney, one of their worst in nearly half a century after multiple box office flops, losing billions of dollars just in streaming, and the parks continuing to lose ground to Universal Studios. But it looks like it might not get any better because one of the biggest controversies of 2022 for Disney was when they drove families away, when they told families that they care more about indoctrinating your children, even in Florida schools, than they do about actually honoring the parents and actually respecting the parents. That's when a lot of people had finally had enough. And Ron DeSantis fought with Disney in the state of Florida. That did not go well for them. And now after losing nearly $123 billion in market value in 2022, stock just absolutely plummeting, it looks like 2023 is already getting off to a bad start for Disney. DeSantis' backed plan would replace Disney World's self-rule with state oversight under the same laws as everyone else. That's right, because after Disney came after Florida, because that's what happened, right? Florida passed the Parental Rights and Education Bill. And after that happened, some woke activists, again, it's always this small group of insane lunatics that these big fucking corporations listen to. A small group of activists with inside Disney basically got Bob Iger to get on his knees at the point of a rainbow-colored gun. And Bob Iger said, we'll do whatever, or Bob Chapek, sorry, Bob Chapek. Bob Iger probably would have just done it on his own accord. Bob Chapek said, we love all of our LGBTQ plus IA whatever uh, members of, the, of Disney, and we're going to do whatever it takes to fight the state of Florida over this bill. You know, the bill that prevented six-year-olds from being sexually indoctrinated in school. That bill that made sure parents had a right in education for their kids not to be groomed. That that crazy thing, you know, the thing that nearly everybody had no problem with? Well, activists and lunatics at Disney had a problem with it. They went to war with Florida and they lost. And now they're about to face the ramifications. Florida isn't backing down from its intention to strip Walt Disney World of its self-governing status following Disney's decision to pick a political fight with Governor Ron DeSantis last year over the state's anti-grooming parental rights and education law. A new plan introduced by state legislature Friday with the backing of the governor proposes a special law that would be put in place into oversight over Disney's Reed Creek Improvement District, ending Disney's self-governance over its Orlando fiefdom, where it's enjoyed numerous special privileges, including tax breaks for five decades. And just because it put up this massive Meta PC, and we got to talk about Meta PC, the best PC I've ever had. Those people are awesome. If you or somebody you know, Needs a gaming PC, editing PC, whatever it may be. Go check out Meta PCs. Link in the description and the pinned comment below. Use code RK Outpost for a discount. The measure would also prevent Disney from using taxpayer dollars to pay off the district's outstanding debts and bond obligations. So again, the thing that all the leftists said would happen, well, if they do this, then the, all the citizens are going to be on the hook for all, these, all this tax money. No, that's not the case because of the way this bill is actually written. The notice for the plan was posted in the Osceola County's official site, but it will also impact Orange County. Here, uh, here's the communications director for DeSantis putting this out. The corporate kingdom has come to an end. Under the proposed legislation, Disney will no longer control its own government, will live under the same laws as everyone else, will be responsible for their outstanding debts, and will pay their fair share of taxes. Imposing a state control board will ensure Orange County cannot use this issue as a pretext to raise taxes on Orange County residents. And we have seen people freaking out about this. We've seen people that say, but just, they should just move Disney World. They should just move Disney World out of Florida. That'll show them. Disney World is bigger than Manhattan. Disney World is bigger than the city of San Francisco. They have spent decades and decades, half a century, building up Disney World here in Orlando. You can't move that. Spoiler alert. Uh, you can't move something like that. You also can't build something like that. Even with a couple decades, you couldn't build something that big. And at the same time, expect them to not operate here in Florida. Because you know what? They can't afford to. Disney can't afford to do anything like that. And it looks like 2023 is already getting off to a bad start for Disney because Ron DeSantis has not forgotten that Disney went to war with families in the state of Florida. This is a big reason why you're seeing families just leave Disney altogether. They'd rather go to a place like Universal. They'd rather go watch something like that's produced by Universal, like Minions. We saw that with Lightyear and Strange World being box office flops, yet things like Minions or Rise of Gru 
make nearly a billion dollars at the box office. Everywhere you turn, there's more bad news for Disney. And uh, Ron DeSantis is going to make sure that Disney feels the pain for going after families.